Zion Williamson and the new look New Orleans Pelicans, you know, because they've had a revamp, you know, uh, throughout these the many years Zion has been with the organization throughout the tenure, you know, um, they have an opportunity to inspire, you know, um, a new wave of New Orleans Pelicans fans, not only in the city of New Orleans and the whole state of Louisiana, but all over the world. You know, he's in a unique situation. You know, um, the New Orleans Pelicans, just the city, just New Orleans in general. When you think of New Orleans, obviously it's football. You know, um, just just Louisiana in general, the South. You know, um, but this is a unique player. You know, um, I'm not going to say LeBron James, but when you're talking about the athleticism, you know, and the potential, you know, of this guy, Zion Williamson, you know, um, this this is the kind of talent, you know, that, you know, organizations would, would throw in. Could you imagine if Zion became available? I mean, it'd be a frenzy. This is the kind, I'm just telling you, the city of New Orleans has a true gem, many gems, you know, with, with all of the players and Zion and Brandon Ingram and CJ and the whole crew and even the Alvarados. It's so many, it's like if you in New Orleans or even outside of New Orleans and you gravitate to the Pelicans, no matter who you are, it's somebody on this roster that you could gravitate to. And then once you look into their backstories, it's tremendous from Jose Alvarado getting it out the mud, the Zion Williamson injuries, overcoming his weight to now coming back to put on a full dominance. A guy like Brandon Ingram shoved to the side, wasn't, um, you know, you know, what didn't get the homage paid to him in Los Angeles. They brought these other coaches in. He had to get it how he lived. Now he comes in. He, he got snubbed last year in the All-Star uh, voting or whatever. This year, Lord have mercy. C.J. McCollum, a guy that just been sitting behind Damian Lillard his whole year, whole, whole years that he's been in the league. It's so many stories with all of these players. And, you know, everybody has a storyline. And, I believe that with these guys coming together and doing something special, like a deep playoff push, a deep, you know, um, just a successful year, sustaining that successfulness, you know, are not just a one and done situation. I'm talking about a, a true, this has a chance to be a, a good six to seven year run, you know, in the city of New Orleans if things go well. You know, you got Zion locked up. You got B.I. locked up. I could see a, a, an extension coming sooner than later. They just extended C.J. You know, you got young players. You got flexibility. Zion Williamson, if he's healthy and he's uh, in tip-top shape, you will have players flocking to get, this, to get to New Orleans. This is the kind of player he's going to be. He will put the league on notice this season. Make no mistake about that situation. I don't give a damn how much weight he lost. He is a force I and mean, he's a freak of nature, you know. Um, but, you know, you got to think from kids growing up in New Orleans. You know, they're so used to, you know, the Saints, you know, um, not, and then even the previous uh, regimes in New Orleans. What did they have? They had the New Orleans, you know, um, Hornets, you know, that, of course. What did they have? The New Orleans, Oklahoma City Hornets, if I'm not mistaken, at one point in time when they went to Oklahoma City. You know, so I could see New Orleans not really gravitating to uh, anybody specific for whatever reason, you know. But obviously, you know, things can change. You know, when you got this regime, when you got this coaching staff, we didn't even get to Willie Green. You know, uh, and the things that he's doing, you know, um, I'm just feel like if I'm a kid growing up in New Orleans um, and I OK, you, you know, it's a football town. You don't really know that when you're a kid. Obviously, you do. But you might venture off. I'm telling you, these Pelicans, you're going to have more players and more people coming up in New Orleans wanting to be basketball players, wanting to be Zion. Drew Brees not there no more. Drew Brees actually stated that he's given the keys to the city to Zion Williamson. That was that was that was a heavy burden. Drew Brees know what time it is, you know, and he was the face of the city of New Orleans. He knows that Zion Williamson, you know, can spark something serious in the city of New Orleans and around the world, you know, and truly be an inspiration to young men and women, you know, in the city of New Orleans and obviously all across the world. 
You know, they have an opportunity, you know, uh, for the Pelicans to be, you know, a team that you, you really speak about, you know, because you have the mainstays, the Knicks, the, the Lakers, you know, um, who else? The Spurs, you know, um, even like Miami, you know, is you have even like other teams, the Hornets, you know, um, what else? The Bulls. I don't want to leave nobody out, but you, the Celtics, you have these um, these names, you know, if New Orleans could spark change and with these players and led by Zion, you know, um, really um, can do that, you know, and to the point where when you when you think five, ten years from now, you're thinking of the Pelicans in a prestige manner, because I don't think prior to Zion coming, you thought of the Pelicans as a prestige organization, you know, you thought of them as hopeless. You thought of them as a joke. You know, you glossed over them. You know, um, I believe it's a culture shifting moment that is taking place right now. You know, and the city knows it. You're going to see celebrities um, coming, you know, supporting the New Orleans Pelicans. That front row going to get real star studded, you know, this season in New Orleans. The stars will be out in New Orleans. You let me. You could book that. I expect to see Wayne at these games. I'm expecting to see Birdman, Currency. Who else? I don't know all the people from New Orleans, but of course, Master P, you know, Romeo and everybody like that. I'm expecting the stars to be out in full effect in New Orleans. And of course, many more, you know, um, it's going to be some big games played at that Smoothie King, you know, arena. So um, led by Zion, you know, so I, I'm excited for the kids and the youth, you know, coming up right now. You got Zion signing with Jordan brand so every and then he gets what did he have um if I'm, i forgot what the naruto naruto if i'm not mistaken he has some um co-branded situation with his shoe so you have a lot of good things that's gravitating towards the youth you know um and then obviously it's going to be led by his incredible play on the floor and um you know we gotta have to lead that up to the team himself willie green and the organization the organization is looking well oiled too and you heard brandon ingram speak on that a season ago they're trying to turn the new orleans pelicans into a a, a, a true prestige organization where players know what to expect when they come here you know so the, the pelicans that is are done playing around and we're about to see it firsthand so if i'm a kid I'm I'm really gravitating towards the New Orleans Pelicans, led by Zion Williamson, Brandon Ingram, CJ, and the crew. Salute to everybody. If you're a Pelicans fan, you know, you already understand where I'm coming from on this. Hit that like button and hit that subscribe button. And we will be live streaming Pelicans games all season long. We will be documenting the return of the beast, Zion Williamson. And, of course, you know, um, just... Brandon Ingram, just just an all-out assassin, you know, and C.J. McCollum, just ice water in his veins. It's Flight Sports TV. We getting up out of here. I appreciate everybody for checking with me.